What up guys, today I'll be showing you a tutorial on how to do this. Yes. Okay, I have to press play first. That. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, open Cinema 4D. Output what render setting 1080 1920. Yeah, it always does that to me. Object scene f at a floor, an object and scene. Um, go mo graph, mo text, uh, type whatever you want. I'm just gonna type all caps. All caps works the best. So. Print media pro. And I forgot to do all caps and a row pro wrong. Great start, eh? P R O. And who cares? It'll work without. It might not, but you understand. Vertical spacing right below text. Do you want to move that nice and close? Actually, yeah, it won't work. Actually, depends what kind of font you use. Um, I'll be using Impact. So, this might work. It should. It uh, yeah, all depends what kind of font you're using about the spacing. Like, yeah, that won't work really properly, but... Straighten her out. Add some depth. And all the other fancy bevel stuff you want to add. Actually, I should show you how to do that. Um, cap. Fill a cap. There. Um... I will just do it steps by 20, steps by 20, it just looks cool when you do this. And change your vertical spacing a tad, yeah a lot, like this is not working, but whatever, um, mo click on, right click on Motex, Dynamics tab, add a body, Dynamics body, uh, also on the floor. I'm going to click on your MoText, trigger on collision, um, individual objects all. After you click it, uh, after that, you want to spawn a block. Yes, spawn a block. You want to check a cloner on that thing. Um, make that a child. Cloners, the parents of the cube right now, and then you want to change your cube size to maybe a hundred by a hundred by a hundred. That looks nice. Then you want to go up to your cloner, uh, object, mode, linear to gridway. Um, then you want your count to be. 4x4x4. Four by four by four. I always do that. I always press the wrong button. 4x4x4. Four by four by four. 650 by 650. Ooh. 650. Raise it up a bit. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to find a way that it all spreads out when it falls. Maybe three by three by 
three. Um, yes, go up to your cloner, go basic, rename it to big, control C, control V for paste, medium, and control C, control V. Small. And then you want to go add a dynamics tab. Control it, control click, control click. Um, quick way to do it, just shift click and do this all on your own by going. Actually, all you have to change is this to zero, bounce, and individual objects to all. And oh yes, go to small. Click on the cube. Um, try thirty by thirty by thirty, and then go medium and try fifty by all. So fifty by fifty by fifty. And then once you have all that corrected. Um, oh, go to your Dynamics tab on your Motex and put bounce to zero on collision. K. Okay, that's good. Now let's see what happens if we press play. Yes, that's exactly pretty much what you want. Um, it might all like bounce up like that. That's pretty much what you want to do, and let's see what it looks at the bottom. There might be some stuff that just goes on the side, but you're pretty zoomed up, so you won't see that on the side. Um, let's play it, and that's pretty much it. So, yeah, quickly let's do textures click on your texture what I did was I would load image pick this kind of background thing I use that um, reflectivity kept that at white put it at 20% brightness went to Frizzle Frizzle something put that also at 20% and then let's drag that on this preview it okay and yeah, you just click on the texture once go projection UVW and change it to flat and then while you're on there it you have that line or whatever that is um, you want to go No, um, put a bit of blur on it, I think, yeah, 10, and then, yeah, I don't know why my A's messed up, um, oh yeah, put, Blur off set up. That might be good. So it blends all together. And I've noticed that this isn't the best font because it glitches up sometimes. So that's one problem. Um, and pretty much background, probably not to do that. Add a light. Control C, Control V, Control C, Control V. Rotate it. Put it out like that. Control C, Control V. And like that. Let's ramp preview. Oh, 
sorry, I'm used to the other version of it. Okay. And I know that doesn't look that nice, so grab the same texture, check on your floor. Actually, scale it a bit bigger, that's what you want to do. I'm going to go floor, coordinates, try 200 by 200 by. And then, troll, click, troll, click, troll, click. We'll see once the blocks fall. Let's see what it looks like. Right about there. I'm not sure it's taking so long to render. That's pretty much it. And so you get, also it looks better when you, what? Yeah, that's pretty much it. And preview, and I'm not doing that. I don't really care. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And, um...